Hi, in this video I'll show you how to count words within a cell. So in Microsoft Word there is a feature where you can count how many words are in the document. There's not really a feature in Excel but you can kind of do it with some formulas to count how many words are in a cell. So if, for example we have two words here. It says hello world. If I just say, if I delete world and press return here you'll see that there's just one. And maybe I'll add something else. Hello, how are you? and then it'll count that there's four words there. So in order to do this, there are two things that we can do. There, one is using the substitute function. The other one is using the len function, just so we're going to combine these two together. So let me tell you what the substitute function does. What we want to do is we want to take the spaces here. There are spaces between these two words, this and cell. There's one space, cell and has, that's the second space. We want to substitute those spaces with blanks. So basically smush all the words together, make one big word. And what we can do is that's going to use a substitute function. I'm going to type equal sub and just tab it out. It selected this first option here. I'll tab it out. And this is the text I want to apply it to. The old text is going to be the space. So I have to put that in quotes. So quote, space, and then close quote. And then the new text, comma, the new text is going to be quote, no space, and just a quote. So basically, it's nothing. So once I do that, I close the parentheses and press enter and you'll notice that all the spaces are gone. What I want to do with the len function, what the len function does is it counts the length of uh, characters within that cell. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the length of this cell with all the spaces with the length of this cell minus all the spaces and that's going to give me how many spaces were in there. So each space in a way you think about it, each space corresponds with the word. So this first space here is that's the, that's the first word. The second space here, that's the second word. So there are going to be one, two, three, four spaces, but there's five words. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the number one to this particular formula. So the way we're going to write it out is equal len and that's going to be get, that's going to give the number of characters in the first string here. So open parentheses that that's going to give us a count of all the words, including the spaces in this cell. Now I want to minus this, the len, the len or the length of all the words, all the characters in that cell. But now you see all the spaces have been removed because of that substitute command. So basically what it's going to get, do is it's going to give, if I press enter, you'll notice it's going to give us four. Basically there is no space after the words, char the words here. So I'm going to add a plus one here and that will give us five. So no matter what you type here, if I type the cell has five words or more, so that's going to be seven words, it's going to give us seven because it added that. Now if we wanted to combine this formula together, basically what we need to do is in this len right here, B2, basically this B2 will be that substitute formula that's in here. So if I just go ahead and take that formula, well what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy this formula, control C to copy, escape to get out of that, edit mode, go in here and, and press a space bar because I don't want this formula to execute yet. I'm going to press control V to populate this formula in there, press enter, you notice that that formula hasn't executed because I have that command in front of the equal sign. Now I'm going to go here into the substitute, I'm going to go ahead and scoop up this formula, control C to copy, escape to get out of there. I'm going back into cell D2 here and I'm where this B2 is because that's calling B2 which is this cell here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to combine that formula into into this particular cell. So control V to paste and what it's doing right now is it's going to get the length of A2 then it's going to do the substitute of A2 and remove all those spaces so it's going to give this and then it's going to give the length of what it did. It removed all those spaces and then plus one. So now in this combined formula, if I press enter, it hasn't done anything because I forgot to take off the space here. So I'm gonna go before the uh, I'm gonna go before the equal sign and just press backspace or delete, press enter, and now it's gonna execute that command. So let's try to see if I copy this down, let me go ahead and take these formulas there and copy it down and see what happens with this particular situation. Now in this particular situation, it looks like it does have five words. The asterisk is still part of this this words word, this W O R D S in the asterisk. Now if we look at this, it is one, two, three, four, five. 
Now, why does it count 6 here? Why does it count 6 here? The reason why it does that is because there is a space after this asterisk. If I kind of bring my, my cursor here and click it here, you'll see that there's a space here, right? And if I click there and press delete, or press backspace and press enter, you'll notice now it picks up those five words, one, two, three, four, five. And the reason why that happens, let me go ahead and put that space back. Sometimes you may have the situation where there's a space at the end and there's no word in between for it to substitute it out. What you might need to do is use another function called the trim function. So what the trim function does, it, you need to do it over here. So I need to use the trim function and this is how we use it. So basically what we need to do is we need to trim in A3 and then after that use the len function. So I'm going to go in here A3, type trim and then type of open parentheses and there's two parentheses here, one, two, so I need two, two open parentheses, I need two closing parentheses. If I close the parentheses there and press enter, now you know that it's counted it correctly. Now it's counted only five. Now this combined formula will be the same. I need to go find that first len and then type trim, open parentheses, and then close parentheses, and now it's five. So now I have uh, this here. I can just type, maybe I can type a word in the beginning here, type A, so this should give us six, so that's six words, even though there is that little space afterwards. That trim picked it up and got rid of it, and so you notice that it, it did the same thing here. So that's how you can count words within a cell and also count it if there are uh, spaces uh, before or after the sentence. Oh, let me give you an example of this. Maybe I put a space in before the sentence. You may think that it may count it. So with the space in the front, that trim should have taken care of it. Let me go ahead and let me just remove the trim here and we'll test it out, right? And that should give us eight now. See, now we've got eight uh, length because now it thinks that space is the additional character. So if we put the trim back in, TRIM, open parent, and then close parentheses, it will give us back to six. So there's how you can do it. There's how you can count words within cells. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.